Kuki. <laughs> Good morning. Aku. Good morning. Nagi. You can eat stuff on the floor. Do I have to follow you? Is on fur? Hey, stop it, stop it. I'm gonna have no call. I'm literally standing here watching you. Peachy's in her bed. Sometimes she's there, sometimes she's on the counter. She'll probably come over to the counter once June actually pulls out the food. Since Haku's eating a special allergy food, we feed him in the hallway now. I think he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Catch! Good boy! Hey, whoops! Hey! Those up. So, for mornings, we still usually just eat like makurobi or something. Makurobi is katakana for macrobiotic. For my breakfast, I normally eat yogurt with nuts and oatmeal. I'm out of yogurt or smoothie with banana, but I'm also out of banana. So I have apple and soy milk and scrambled eggs. Sounds good. Yeah. And every single day, I drink uh, super thick tomato juice. June fills to... up our fridge with tomato juice. <laughs> Literally, when we go to the grocery store, the fridge will be filled. <laughs> he goes through these phases where he has a drink he really likes and then he drinks like a gallon of it a day. It's not a phase, it's just doing it for a while, but for a while. <laughs> this is me now. <laughs> it's not a phase, this is just who I am. I, I literally text Michaela photos of how much tomato juice student buys. <laughs> <laughs> why? <'Cause> <laughs> because it's so much. <laughs> I don't understand why you're laughing. I use this for cooking too. But anyway, I'm going to Half an apple, please. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, yeah. apple Thank slices. you. I have just a little use. Oh no. This Fuji apple yeah, it's isn't not, so great. Not good. No! It's not bad, but it's not great. Remember? When we went to Aomori and tried a whole bunch of different apples. We are semi-professional apple <laughs> We tried fancy apples once and now we're apple professionals. I think we tried like 15. We, did, we tried so many apples. We went to apple store. Not the, not this apple store, but the actual apple store. The apple apple store. <laughs> oh, professional egg cracker Rachel. Okay. No, <laughs> God. Oh, okay. All right. Professional egg cracker ratio. Let's crack it. Do you want to see how it's done? <laughs> Take three. Take four. This is how it's done, June. Don't deride my process. <laughs> and that's how oh, there, there, there is no eggshells inside. Good. That's how a professional does it. You rock, honey. <laughs> you, you crack. Aku, you like your board? Do you like your board? Sad little baby. Professional egg beater, Rachel. I like this sound. They're appetizing. Scrambled eggs are fun because you can just do whatever you want. Do you want garlic powder? No, thank you. Oh, that was a lot. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to mix it up. What do you like? Tastes like scrambled eggs that I Good poured, quality? A, poured a little bit too much garlic powder on. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> thank you. I pour ketchup on mine. I drink coffee basically every morning. I drink coffee basically every morning. Um, our coffee pot broke a long time ago, and I don't even remember why it broke. 
Do you remember? Dishwasher or it's sitting in the sink or cat. Our dishwasher is broken so many things. I don't understand. Also, our dishwasher itself has broken itself. <laughs> anyway, our coffee pot broke and we never bothered replacing it. So now we can just like do this, the drip thing into a, a cup of coffee. Yep. And this is fine. This works. Direct, I direct drip coffee. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah, it is. Today's sponsor is actually our coffee, Trade Coffee. They have a really cool service. They have a quiz on their website where you can input exactly how you like your coffee, and then they will recommend some different selections to you based on your responses. After you pick your coffee, they will roast the beans and ship it to you within 24 hours. So it's really fresh by the time it gets to you. And then you can rate how you liked it so they can get an even better idea of what you like for your next coffee. And if you don't like your first coffee at all, they will send you a new one for free, which is pretty great. They sent me this one from a roaster called Huckleberry Roasters. This one is a sweet and full bodied blend. All right. I already like the sound of this coffee it's filter. Coffee roasting time. Did it say roasting time? Coffee, it's coffee time. Coffee time. Okay, coffee time. It's also got this like, the this thing, so you can Zipper? seal it. This bag was full, by the way. I just, as you can see, they sent it to me in April. I've been drinking every day, so it was, it doesn't come like this. It's a full bag of coffee. I wonder how many comments we get by professional coffee. Drippers. Don't at me. <laughs> Look, I've got a lot in my life I need to learn right now. I don't know if how to make proper coffee is another one I can handle at the moment. <laughs> da da da, coffee. No sugar. No sugar. Also, check out the cool spoon. It's a little tree. Is it from a dollar store? No, it was from Frump Frump. It was oh. like six dollars. A luxury price for a spoon, but I like it and I use it every day. Coffee! How would you describe the flavor? It is very mild. I like it. I think it's easier to drink. It is, yeah. This one is not really bitter. Also, not too sour. Yes. But it has nice thickness. Koku. Yes. So like, very mild but has a full body, I think. Yes. I like mm. thick flavor, strong flavor coffee, but I don't like sourness very much. If you get something that you really like, like you can just order individual bags on their website as well. Mm. Anyway, if you're interested, the first 100 people who click the link in the description box below can get 50% off their first bag. You just take their quiz and then use our code RACHELJUNE50. So, lunchtime. Da, 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 da. I think this is so good. Mm. This is one of my go-to recipes that I make a lot. Do we have lime? Did we forget to get a lime? No, no, he needs a lime. Can you run and get us a lime real quick, please? I actually knew they forgot. I already <laughs> got lime. I wish. <laughs> lime. Lime. Okay. Thank you. All right. They get. This is it, an air quote Mexican style sandwich. You know, American Mexican. 16, 17. Okay. Defrosting some shrimps. This is a recipe that I have made many times before. So it is something I know how to make. This is also the recipe that sent me to the hospital that one time that I tweeted about because I cut myself with June's incredibly sharp bread knife. Now, now you may be thinking, oh, maybe Rachel had an accident, or oh, maybe Rachel was just being clumsy, or oh, maybe one of the cats bothered Rachel and then she accidentally cut herself. No, I was being an idiot. So, <laughs> normally with this recipe, <laughs> I cut the baguette part of the way through, like this, and then I'm gonna toast these. But since I had done this so many times, I got really cocky about it, and I held the bread in my hand, while I was cutting through, because I was like, I know how far I need to push the knife. I've done this before. Um, and apparently I didn't, because I sliced right through my pinky here, and then spurting blood. So there we go. I lured all of you guys in with the promise of some delicious food in a video, and then I tricked you with my really disgusting, bloody stories. <laughs>
But I also feel like when you get really used to doing something, it's kind of a common thing, maybe, that some people start taking shortcuts and then you injure yourself. So don't take any safety shortcuts. That's my life lesson. <laughs> so I usually want it to be attached just because it makes it a little bit easier. So next, I'm going to make a sauce for the shrimp, which I would put in the bowl, but the shrimp is already in. Whatever. Lime juice. Yeah. Took me 20 minutes to get it. <laughs> Chili powder and cumin. cumin. Garlic powder. It already smells like, like a Mexican restaurant. Mm. Mexican. Alright, next I devein any shrimp that still have the vein in them. Press on. Perfect timing. Mm. I'm gonna mix the shrimp with the super chunky. Maybe our spices are a little expired sauce. <laughs> I don't know any American friends who does not, who do not like Mexican food. Everyone loves Mexican food. Mayonnaise. How do you like Japanese mayonnaise compared to American mayonnaise? Uh, much better. American mayonnaise, I don't know. Japanese mayonnaise is more creamy. It's easier to put on a lot of different stuff. Mm. And then the other half of the lime. And now it's veggie chopping time. June, can I ask you to chop things? Sure. Please. Yeah. It'll be so much quicker. <laughs> Thank you. This was about 15 minutes quicker than it would have taken me. <laughs> Sandwich me in time. Mmm. Mmm. Smells really good. All right. Now it's time for this stuff. Time for the stuff. Time for this stuff. You learn, you learn. You learn. <laughs> oh, I like this topping part. It reminds me of waiting at the like a uh, sandwich store. <laughs> uh, I Welcome want to Subway. And nope. how are you gonna make it into a sandwich? Just slowly, you gently. Just do your best. Okay. Looking good. Very colorful. Smells really good. Thank you. Put your sandwich together. Make a beauty shot. <laughs> With one hand. Uh... See? You did it. Oh, I did it. <laughs> kind of. Alright, good enough for now. Let's eat some lunch. Oh, you're pro. Oh. oh, this left and right movement dance from Rachel. This means it's good. Hang on, I gotta film you. I gotta film you trying one. <laughs> Are you like punching it down? <laughs> June, I worked hard on this sandwich. Thank you. Not that hard. Mmm, I really like the sauce. Yeah? Mmm, it's really good. Thank you. How's the taste? The whole thing? The Mexican. Real Mexican. This is not, stop saying that. I have to like, every single time you say Mexican, I have to be like, American Mexican. Okay. <laughs> American Re Mexican. It's not my recipe. I'll put a link to the recipe down in the description box if anyone is interested in this. Can't live. wait to get lemon and lime trees. And oh, them. me too. Oh my gosh, June, we're gonna have so many trees. Lots of fruit trees. Okay, but we're gonna most... eat lunch now. Bookie, are you ready for food? Sweetie. Have fun. Have fun. Yes, catch. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you have that? Yeah. yeah. That's my hand. Pokey, you already yeah. ate. You already ate dinner. Now what you want? It's dinner time. It's way too late for dinner, but I gotta eat anyway. Um, gonna make the simplest meal you could possibly make: pasta. What pasta sauce do you want, you? I thought you said pepperoncino. Oh, are you having this too? I was 
not going to, but I realized that I need to wake up early to work tomorrow. And uh, if you only, if only you will have a penalty, I will suffer from like the breath, the garlicky breath <laughs> while I'm sleeping. Okay. Which happened last time and last last time and last 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 time and last 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 last. <laughs> In Japanese, it's pepperoncino. It's basically just oil, garlic, and red pepper. That's like it. <laughs> it's really good. Eringi, mm -hmm. king oyster. Okay. Yeah. That has such a cool name. Yeah. Big chunk? Like this thick. Um, like a scallop. Like this? Mm. Is that too big? No. Okay. Vegan scallops. <laughs> it's really good. Hey, Pookie. <laughs> I know I had avocado for lunch already, but <laughs> I shouldn't just eat empty carbs. I definitely need something in there, something in my stomach first. So one of my favorite things to eat is avocado sashimi. It's basically avocado slices that you dip in soy sauce. June's fancy soy sauce that he put a lot of kombu in. How do you like it now? Uh, it's very good. Yeah. I super enjoy the umami from the seaweed in the soy sauce. Hey, you know what else has umami in it that I never realized could have umami in it? Green tea. We actually visited Kyoto a few months ago and we're gonna make a- we have Amazing a, video. Yeah, we have a video coming out about it hopefully soon-ish. Anyway, green tea can be umami. And ever since I've had that, I can't drink green tea any other way than super umami green tea. I've become a huge green tea snob. <laughs> We're very excited to make that video. It's really good yeah. experience. Nice color, nice smell. Oh, I forgot to turn the thing on. Thank you. It's been a while since I've last had the peroncino. Ta-da. All right, do you want your packet toppings? Is it the uh... The red pepper? No, thank you. Cool, I get three. This is an exciting day. <laughs> That's an exchange for your one piece avocado slice. Okay, fair exchange. This is the best thing for a foreigner living in Japan. Habanero powder. If you're into hot um, spice. I mean, it's habanero, so it's not like, when you start getting into spice, Things can go really far. <laughs> my level, my good level is habanero. This is my happiness level. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. I don't think you guys need us to do a taste test for pasta. It's just pasta. Hey, Thank you. Careful. Yeah. Anyway. Rachel cooking. Itadakimasu. Was, that, was there a purpose to this video? Do you guys <laughs> enjoy watching me cook very basic meals? In a mediocre manner? I don't know. Thank you for watching anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it was really nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I want to cook with you next time. Okay. All right. Let's make something fun. Okay. Bye. <laughs>